go and prepare the Passover supper for us to eat. <laughs> I have desired to eat this Passover with you before I suffer. I will not eat it again until after the kingdom of God has come to this earth. And then you will eat at my table, and you will sit on thrones judging the twelve tribes of Israel. I will tell you something so that when it comes to pass you will believe. The scripture prophesied in Psalm 41 9, He that eats bread with me has lifted up his heel against me. For I tell you that one of you whose hand is with me on the table will betray me. No! It is so determined. But woe to the man that will do such a thing. Lord, is it I? I don't want to betray you. Lord, it's not me, is it? Master, I would never betray you. It is one of you who dips his hand with me into the bowl. We all dipped our bread in the bowl. John whispered and asked Jesus who would betray him. Jesus said, The one to whom I will give this piece of bread after I have dipped it. Master, is it I? You say so. Jesus dipped the bread and gave it to Judas. That which you do, do quickly. Where is Judas going? The master told him to go somewhere quickly. Since he carries the money bag, he is probably going to give alms to the poor. Now I will be glorified. Little children, I will not be with you much longer. You cannot go where I am going. I now give you a new commandment, that you love one another. By this shall all men know that you are my disciples, that you love one another. Zechariah prophesied of this hour, saying, I will smite the shepherd, and the sheep shall be scattered abroad. After I am raised from the dead, I will go before you into Galilee. All of you will deny me this night. Lord, though everyone else denies you, I never will. Peter, before the rooster crows twice, you will deny me three times. I would die with you before I would deny you. There's no way I would ever deny you. They couldn't torture me into denying you. The scriptures are clear. You will all deny me. The prophet Isaiah said of me, he was treated as if he were a transgressor. Peter, after you have been converted back to faith in me, strengthen your brothers in the faith. Blessed art thou, O Lord our God, King of the universe, who brings forth bread from the earth. This bread will represent my body, which is given for you. As often as you observe the Passover, remember me. My body will be broken for you. Take it and eat all of it. This cup of wine represents the new covenant based on my blood, which will be poured out to atone for your sins. Share it among yourselves and drink all of it. I will not again drink of the fruit of the grape until I drink it with you in my kingdom. In the future, when you do this, you will be remembering my death until I come again. Do not be afraid or troubled over what I have told you. In my father's house are many mansions. When I go away, I will prepare a place for you. 
then I will come again and take you to be with me where I am. But Lord, we do not know where you are going, so how can we know the way to come to you? You know the way, for I am the way, the truth and the life. No man can come to God unless he comes through me. If you know me, you know the Father and have seen him. Master, show us the Father and we will be satisfied. <laughs> Philip, have you been with me so long and yet you do not know me? If you have seen me, you have seen the Father also. I and the Father are one. I will not leave you alone. I will come unto you. The world will see me no more, but I will send the Holy Spirit to indwell you and to comfort you. He shall be in you and shall lead you unto all truth. If you love me, keep my commandments. I will give you a peace that the world cannot take away. If you loved me, you would rejoice because I am returning to my Father. I have told you these things before they come to pass that you may believe. Arise, let us sing a hymn and then we will go to the garden to pray. Jesus and the 11 disciples sang one last hymn together. Follow quietly. We will go to our secret spot to pray. Do not be sad, because I said that in a little while I will be taken from you, and then after a little while you will see me again. For though you will weep, your sorrow will be turned to great joy. I came from the Father, and I soon will return unto him. Now you speak plainly. We believe. Do you now believe? In a very short time you will all forsake me and be scattered. Stay here while I go a little farther and pray. Father, the hour has come. I have finished the work you gave me to do. And now glorify me with the glory that I had with you before the world was created. I have taught them about you and they have received my words. The world will hate them as it hated me because I tell them the truth about their sins. They are not of this world. I do not pray for you to take them out of the world, but that you keep them from the evil one. I also pray for all those who will believe on me through their testimonies. I will that they all may be with me as I am with you. Father, may the love wherewith you have loved me be in them, and I in them. My soul is exceeding sorrowful, even unto death. Father, if it is possible, remove from me this cup of wrath which I must drink. Yet I do not want to do my will, but yours. I will drink it if I must. Jesus came into the world to be the sin-bearer, but when the moment arrived, he despised the shame of the cross, for it meant that he was made to be sin for all people of all time. Father, if it is possible, let this cup pass from me. But not my will, your will be done. Jesus sweated great drops of blood. Suddenly an angel appeared and ministered unto Jesus. Holy One, your hour of suffering has come, but the Father is with you. All the host of heaven will be watching tomorrow as you take the sins of the world upon you. We were there when you created the world. We will be there when you redeem it. Tomorrow Satan will be defeated and the debt of sin will be paid. 
Abraham and all of the host of paradise are awaiting your coming. They have prepared a table before you in the presence of your enemies. Your cup runs over. Surely goodness and mercy will follow you, and you will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Arise, Judas, the son of perdition, is coming to betray you. Father, for this cause I came into the world. You have fallen asleep. Could you not have watched for me one hour? Arise, I am betrayed into the hands of sinners. Master. It is so good to see you here, but I am afraid that I have been followed. Judas, do you betray me with a kiss? <gasps> Judas, you dirty traitor! Kill them if they resist. Hold it! Whom are you looking for? Jesus of Nazareth. I am he. Look out! He's got powers! The soldiers were afraid of Jesus and fell backward to the ground. That's him! What are you afraid of? Take him! You will not take my master. Stop. There will be no more bloodshed here. Peter, put your sword back in its place. If I wanted to, I could call 10,000 angels to come and assist me. This is the hour of darkness. He cut off my ear! You come for me with swords as if I were a criminal. I was with you in the temple. Why did you not take me then? I will tell you why. It is so the scripture might be fulfilled. God help me. There, good as new. <gasps> it is me you want. We will offer no resistance. Take me and let these others go. It's a miracle. He healed my ear. He healed my ear. Seize them. Grab them all! Let none get away! Let us be going. The disciples all escaped into the night. Keep moving! They want to get this over with before the people hear about it. They brought Jesus to where the priests and witnesses were assembled. They tell me you claim to be the Messiah, and that you say God is your father. You say you're not from this world? Where are you from? I have taught in the synagogues and in the temple. I did not teach in secret. Why do you ask me? Ask them that heard me. They know what I said. You cannot answer the high priest in that manner. If I have spoken evil, then bear witness of that evil. But if I have spoken well, why do you strike me? Bring in the witnesses against this man. He said he would destroy the temple and rebuild it in three days, without his hands. No, he said if someone else destroyed the temple, then he would rebuild it. You aren't even there. I heard what he said. He pointed to himself when he talked about destroying the temple. I think he was talking about his own body being destroyed. That's ridiculous. How could he rebuild his own body after three days? I don't know. How could he raise the temple up in three days? Don't you hear them accusing you? Aren't you going to answer for yourself? Jesus remained silent. The fool won't answer. 
I command you by the living God to speak up and answer whether you are the Christ, the Son of the living God. I am the Son of God, and you will see me sitting on the right hand of power and coming back to this earth in the clouds of heaven. We don't need any more witnesses. We have heard him with our own ears. He blasphemes by claiming to be the Son of God. He is worthy of death. Blindfold him, and we will see what kind of prophet he is. The priest tore his garments as a sign of his great grief. Beat him! He destroyed my business in the temple! See if he can prophesy. <laughs> Let him do a miracle. Yeah, hit him again. <laughs> prophesy. <laughs> Tell us who hit you. I thought you were a prophet. <laughs> if he were true, he could heal himself right now. Look how weak he is. Hit him again. <laughs> heal your wounds. Show us a miracle. Meanwhile, Outside the temple, Peter had followed Jesus from afar. I know you. I saw you with that man Jesus. You are one of his disciples, aren't you? I don't know the man Jesus. I just want to see what's going on. I saw you in the garden tonight. You're the one. Men, are you crazy? I'm just a poor, humble fisherman. I don't know this man, Jesus. Yes, you are certainly one of his disciples. I saw you with him on several occasions. Ah, uh, woman, I never saw this man before in my life. <laughs> that rooster's crowing a little early, isn't he? They are bringing him out. Looks like they gave him a bad time. They said to take him to the civil authorities for sentencing. The fat hypocrites want somebody else to do their dirty work. Give him the whip! Peter heard the cock crowing and remembered the words of Jesus. That before the cock crowed twice, he would deny Jesus three times. He was ashamed of his cowardice. Put the cat of nine tails to him! God, what have I done? I denied him three times, just as he said. Why is this happening? Why is he suffering so? Come on, we don't have all night. Father, give me strength. What do you want here? Didn't we pay you enough for your betrayal of your master? I have changed my mind. Turn him loose and I will give you the money back. It is blood money, unclean. We will not touch it. Your master will be dead before this day is through. You have nothing to fear. We might be able to use you in rounding up the others. Take your money! I don't want it! I cannot live with my guilt! The poor fool. I can't live with this! God! What is wrong with me? Why couldn't I control my lust? Maybe death will give me peace. I saw him there, but there was nothing I could do to stop him. Hurry, we must cut him down. Maybe he is still alive. But even as they were climbing the tree, the soul of Judas was already plunging into the fires of damnation. 
As he falls, you will have to catch him, or he will fall into the steep ravine. He's too far out! What a mess! He's burst open and spilled all over the field. Oh, it makes me sick. This was also predicted by the prophets. What have you brought me, another heretic? Take him away and deal with him according to your laws. He deserves to die, or we would not have brought him to you. You have taken away our power to stone a blasphemer to death. So we come, seeking your permission. What is his crime? He claims to be a king. Are you the king of the Jews? Now is my kingdom not of this world. If it were, my servants would fight to preserve my life. Are you a king then? I came into this world to bear witness to the truth. Everyone that is of the truth listens to what I say. He has not committed any crime worthy of death. What would you have me do with him? Crucify him! Punish him! Take him away and scourge him. How many legs? They said to give him the maximum. Thirty-nine lashes. We will see how tough the preacher is. The Cat of Nine Tails is equipped with a wooden handle about 18 inches long, with nine leather straps about three feet long, with sharp rocks or bone or metal tied to the end of each strap. Harder! Where are his friends now? He hasn't begged for mercy. This will probably kill him, and we will be done with his miracles. 35! 36! 37! 38! 39! His back is a mess! Well, I always wanted to whip a king. He said he was a king. Put this purple robe on him. A king needs a crown. <laughs> this will make a good crown. Ouch! Here, take your scepter, oh great one. <laughs> Put the crown on his head good and tight. We crown you king of the whole world. <laughs> now stand up straight. Hold your scepter up, king. Ha <laughs> ha, <laughs> long live the king. Yeah. Until sundown, if he is lucky. A Roman king doesn't have a beard. Now that looks more like a king. It's no fun. He won't even beg for mercy. Let's take him back to Pilate. Behold, your king. We have no king but Caesar. Look at the man. What would you have me do with him? You can take him and crucify him. I find no fault in this man. What do you mean, no fault? He claims to be the Son of God. The Son of God? Bring the man in to me. Who are you? Why won't you answer me? Don't you know that I have the power to put you to death? 
You'd have no power if my father above did not give it to you. I tell you, I find no fault in this man. I will release him. Take him away and do as you will. I will write out the papers stating his crime. But I am innocent of the blood of this just man. Where are your miracles now? I think he's about had it. Get up or I will put the whip to you. Here, you, help this man carry his cross. Why me? What did he do? He loved everybody. Oh, Jesus. We're so sorry. Waters of Jerusalem, don't weep for me. Weep for yourselves and for your children. There will come a time when those in Jerusalem will hide in fear and pray to die. Jesus carried his cross to the place of death. There were two thieves who also carried their crosses that day. There were many who still loved Jesus and respected him, but they were too afraid to speak up. Here, drink this. It will dull the pain. No. I must do the will of my father. He still thinks he is the son of God. Stretch him out! <laughs> Bring the hammer and nails. <laughs> Hold him tight now. He will fight like crazy with the first strike. You have to keep him steady until the nail gets between the bones and into the wood. Oh, my son. <laughs> Why do you suppose he thinks he is the son of God? Something about some old prophecy. Who knows? Hold those legs still. This usually takes several strikes to get the nail between the bones. <laughs> I don't believe I can bear it. I never thought it would turn out this way. Pull, you idiots! I could use a little help, you lazy swine. John, I'm so glad you're here. It is just awful. We all forsook him. Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. Here are his clothes. I will just take this one. No, you won't. We will split it four ways. We can't divide this one. It's knitted. We will roll the dice for that one. The scripture predicted that they would divide one garment and gamble for the other. Hyrule takes all. Look out, Leo. You've got blood dripping on you. He saved others. Himself he cannot save. Hey, Jesus! You said you could destroy the temple and rebuild it in three days. Save yourself and come down off the cross. Let the Christ, the King of Israel, now come down from the cross, that we may see and believe. <laughs> he trusted in God that he would deliver him. Let God deliver him now, seeing he delighted in God. Fraud! Here, drink this and it will ease your pain. No. If you are the Son of God, get yourself down from here, and we will kill some Romans. 
Why do you swear so? Don't you fear God, knowing you're about to die? We deserve what we are getting, but this is Jesus. He's done nothing wrong. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. This very day, you will be with me in paradise. John, you take care of my mother. I will. Jesus, why? The sky became dark as night and remained that way for three hours while Jesus hung on the cross. It was the hour of darkness. The man Christ Jesus was dying for the sin of the world. As the oh, weight no. of sin fell fully on Jesus, he cried out, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? God made him to be sin for us. Father, into your hands I place my spirit. Oh, John, he is dying. I can't believe he is really dying. <laughs> Is finished. And he died. And suddenly there was great earthquake. What's going on? First the sky turns dark as night, and now the ground shakes. It's this Jesus, King of the Jews. He was a worker of miracles. He's not working any miracles now. He's dead! It's turning light again. This is a strange day. Yeah, it is happening just after this man died. Truly, this was the Son of God. We've been ordered to break their legs. They want them dead and off their crosses before sundown. Tomorrow is one of their holy days. No need to break his, he just died. Do you know what he said before he died? He asked his father to forgive us for putting him to death. They tell me he was a holy man that performed miracles. It was predicted that he would die on a cross, but that no bone in his body would be broken. And so it was fulfilled. So the soldiers skipped over Jesus and went on to break the legs of the thief. At least they didn't break his legs. Mary, I will see if I can find some help to prepare him for burial. The Sabbath would begin at sundown, and it was getting late. They had to hurry to get the body entombed. Joseph, a rich man, who was not one of the twelve disciples, volunteered his own tomb to bury Jesus. It will be Sabbath soon. We will place him in my own new tomb. That is so good of you, Joseph. You have been a good friend. 